Self-adhered membrane products, also known as peel and sticks, can trap moisture. Or do they? In this video, we're dispelling the myth that all peel and sticks are vapor impermeable. We're going to briefly discuss the categories of vapor permeability, and we're going to show you some options for some self-adhered vapor permeable membranes that you can use without the risk of trapping moisture. Let's get into it. Peel and stick membranes have a reputation for being highly vapor impermeable, and while they have their use as robust waterproofing systems, they can in fact trap moisture if it gets inside the assembly, and this has resulted in rot and deterioration in the past, and in fact we just ran into this issue with a recent project where an ice and water shield product was installed over the entire roof assembly, resulting in some deterioration at the ridge since moisture was accumulating in this location. Now, the reason that peel and stick membranes have this reputation is that, for decades, the most common peel and stick or self-adhering waterproofing product on the market was Grace Ice and Water Shield, and it's still commonly used today. This is a membrane that's composed of SBS rubberized asphalt and cross-laminated high-density polyethylene, both of which are highly vapor impermeable, so drying through these membranes is virtually impossible. Now let's take a quick look at this table of vapor permeability as defined by Building Science Corporation. You'll notice that each of these categories has been given a perm rating range. A perm is simply a measurement of vapor permeance, and it's defined by one grain of water vapor per hour, per square foot, per inch of mercury. The one inch of mercury is just the vapor pressure differential. A grain of water is one seven thousandth of a pound of water, and so basically this is the equivalent of one drop of water out of a pipette. Anyways, we have several classifications of vapor retarders. Materials that have a perm rating of less than 0.1 perms are considered to be highly vapor impermeable or vapor barriers. These are class 1 vapor retarders. This is where that Grace Ice and Water Shield product falls under, as well as most roof membranes. Materials that have a perm rating between 0.1 perms and 1 perm are semi-vapor impermeable. A little bit more moisture can dry through the material or membrane, but it's still not very much. These are class 2 vapor retarders. Materials that have a perm rating between 1 perm and 10 perms are semi-vapor permeable. These are class 3 vapor retarders. This is where we're starting to get a little bit more significant drying potential out of those materials, but not too much, but oftentimes we'll specify products with a perm rating in this range behind reservoir claddings like brick and stucco to slow down that inwardly driven vapor. Finally, we have vapor open materials, and that's anything over 10 perms. Now, there are still varying degrees of vapor open materials. For example, there's a big difference between 20 perms and 50 perms in terms of how much moisture has the ability to pass through, and you wouldn't necessarily want the more permeable material. Now, believe it or not, there's a ton of peel and stick and self adhering products that fall under the category of semi vapor permeable or vapor open, and they're specifically designed to allow vapor to pass through while remaining water repellent and airtight. Some examples of this are Adhero 3000 from Proclima, Blueskin VP100, Hydrogap SA, and Wrap Shield SA. These are all self adhered weather resistive barrier products that provide the benefits of a traditional peel and stick with the added benefit of being vapor permeable. Not only that, but the pressure sensitive adhesives used in these membranes tends to be a lot stronger than the adhesives used for traditional rubberized asphalt membranes, and so these products don't pose a risk of trapping moisture like a traditional ice and water shield, as all these products have a wet cup permeance of over 10 perms. Now, just like how not all peel and stick membrane products are vapor impermeable, not all fluid applied or spray applied membranes are vapor impermeable, and in fact many products are quite vapor open. It comes down to the chemistry and composition of these materials, but manufacturers can produce fluid applied products with nearly any material property that you could ask for, whether it's an increased vapor permeance, UV resistance, or flexibility. There is of course a give and take when it comes to these properties, but the point is that there are many vapor permeable options on the market that won't trap moisture like a traditional asphaltic waterproofing. There are even modified asphalt products that are vapor permeable, so your options are endless. Guys, it's really important to understand the materials that we're specifying, and to use the proper terminology to refer to the properties of these materials. We found that there's an enormous amount of confusion when it comes to this topic, and so we're going to try our best to clarify it as much as possible moving forward in future videos. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe for more weekly building science videos, and head over to our website at asiri-designs.com where we have over 150 free building science articles that cover a wide range of topics. For now, good luck with your projects. Cheers. Thank you.